When you're treating pain as we do at Stem Cell Arts, many of the patients that come to us are patients who have already had surgery for their condition. And one of the most common people, that, a group of people that come to us is people who have had spinal surgery. And some of them are disappointed with the outcome and feel like the surgery, it didn't give them the quality of life and the activity level that they were hoping for when they went for the surgery. And often the case is simply that the surgeon fixed one problem, but they still have other problems. If somebody herniates a disc in their back, the surgeon can go in and fix that herniation of the disc, but they may not, th that surgery doesn't treat anything else. So if they have, for instance, have injured a ligament or a facet joint or a sacroiliac joint while they were injuring their herniated disc, those problems are still untreated. So the patient often mistakenly, mistakenly feels like the surgery didn't work, when in fact it simply didn't do everything. And many of the things that need to happen are not surgical at all. Uh, the problems that people have after they've had spinal surgery uh, fall in the category of injured ligaments, injured joints, uh, continued uh, disc pain, and muscle problems from imbalances. Once the surgery has happened, part of the spine actually will lose its motion because it's been fused. That forces motion above it and forces motion below that segment. And sometimes the areas where the motion is forced to happen aren't areas that are prepared to take that excess motion or uh, it creates some pain and dysfunction because that area isn't strong enough. So we have some wonderful tools for A, figuring out why the person still has pain after the surgery. And as I say, many times it's not, it's simply that the surgery didn't fix everything that was wrong. And the second thing is we have some wonderful tools to actually treat. And some of the tools we use are uh, platelet-rich plasma. Uh, in this treatment, we take blood platelets, uh, take them from the bloodstream, and we inject those, those platelets into weakened ligaments, injured joints, uh, poor muscle attachments, and that is able to uh, basically improve on those residuals that the patient had after surgery and improve their quality of life. Sometimes they have residual nerve pain, and we use a treatment called platelet lysate, which is a wonderful healing agent for nerves. Uh, and we inject that like an epidural into the spinal canal, and that helps the nerves finally come to a position of healing after they may have been traumatized through their original injury. So we have a lot of tools to figure out why people still hurt after spinal surgery, and we have a lot of uh, tools to actually fix other problems that perhaps weren't fixed during the surgery uh, and treat them successfully and get them back to a full quality of life and a full activity level.